Come on, one Nyla. One Nyla is so huge here. Wait. I just did that. If I hit one and then didn't hit the last one, I'd be really sad. But I didn't hit one at all, so I can tell myself it didn't matter. Oh, I should have just sold the Nyla, rebuilt, and then moved items to Sejuani. Bitch. Is there any chance that the other guy died? Any chance? No. Damn it. Okay, if I hit Nyla 3, I definitely win that. If I didn't hit Nyla 3, and then I sold my Nyla 2 and moved items to Sedge, I might have won. The early game was so good, and then the rolldown at 7 was so terrible. It was so sad, because you hit everything besides the one you wanted to hit. Wait, run laps in old school RuneScape. Okay, I'm feeling a Talon in three game. I'm feeling a Nasus for some reason. Wait, didn't they like massively destroy stacks on stacks? Oh, we're lagging. The lag is back. Yo, Nasus 3. I feel like there's not much reason to ever go Nasus 3 right now. Yeah, maybe Vertical Anima Squad. Divine Ascent! Oh my god, it's time! Wait, I have to make sure no one else is contesting me, though. No one's contesting me, right? If I lock it in, and then, like, two other people take it, it's instantly in 8th place. But it's just such an exciting build. Alright, I'm gonna assume I'm fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now that augments are locked in, did anyone choose Kale? Oh no. This guy chose Flaming Ricochet, which means he's gonna roll for Gangplank 3, which means he's probably gonna roll for Kale 3 in the meantime. I mean, I, I did all I could, I scouted. That's out of my control. He picked it last second, but that sucks. He picked something that directly contests me. Like, with one cost, you could still both hit, but it makes it cost like 40% more gold. Three ashes! Imagine if that was three Kales. Oh. I might play it for one round to try to save HP. Rocket grab. Oh my god, this guy is so strong. Well, not strong, but he's gonna contest the shit out of me. Yeah, I'm always high rolling the ashes. It just grabbed me. Grab me, daddy. Do it. Can we kill one unit? All right, so there's a couple ways you could play this. You could go uh, super scale, which in my opinion isn't very good. Maybe if you're like completely uncontested. I think you just go duelists. So it's like you get Yasuo 3, Fiora 3, uh, Kale 3, Gangplank 3. They did just buff Gangplank and Fiora. And then your front line kind of sucks, but like your Kale's very fast. Oh god, I haven't hit a Kale yet since the augment. Oh god. It's so doomed. How many people are going to reroll supers? This guy's definitely rolling supers. And he's probably going to grab up the Kale as well. Uh, this guy's playing Lulu. He's probably going to reroll supers. Okay. So I think there's two people that are rolling supers. So I'll just try to roll duelists. We'll go like six duelists Kale. Okay, so I think you prioritize the Kale items here. Uh, so the Kale is going to have extra attack speed. So it's like an RFC and then two Hurricanes. So at that point, it's just like all damage, right? So Last Whisper. Last Whisper, like Hodge and whatever, right? So let's grab the glove.
Oh yeah, yeah. Last was for Guard Breaker, I'm pretty sure. So Glove is like a must here. And maybe Death Blade is good, but it's probably Last Whisper, uh, Guard Breaker, Giant Slayer, something like that. I can also see a Gunblade working. So just like keep her front line alive. But yeah, we'll see what we get. Also, if you're gonna get three star Gangplank, we could do Giga Gangplank with the Titans. Nah, there's no way you do Titans though. Uh. Still at one kill. You ever get tired of playing duelists? Uh, this is my first duelist game in like 15 games. <laughs> what do you mean do I ever get tired of playing them? You make it sound like I play them all the time. I just played like 15 different builds in 15 games. What more do you want from me? You just ran four duelists, lol. There's a very big difference between four duelists, six laser core, and all, la all duelists. They play completely differently. If you're talking about like, oh, you had the duelist synergy in, then you could also say, Box Box, you ever get tired of playing Aegis? You play Aegis all the time. That is, that is a massive chatting moment, dude. All right, I gotta make sure I lose this next round. I have had terrible luck with the Kales, so we're probably not gonna be able to roll down here. We're probably not gonna hit. If you're high rolling, you have like four or five Kales here, you could realistically hit the three star. Uh, I'm not even sure if you picked this up. I, uh, I think you pick it up. Costs you two gold. But I think my build actually does involve three starring the Fiora. Like, I know Fiora and Yasuo are going to be uncontested. Oh god. Well, good thing I made sure I lost the round. <laughs> Wouldn't have wanted to win this by accident. Dude, I could really. Remember that three Ash shop? I could really use a three Kale shop right here. I'm probably going to roll here to hit two star Kale and Gangplank. I'm not even kidding. Like, this game is so fucked. Once you play Divine Ascent, you have to play KL3, and I have I have hit zero KLs so far. I took this because I had one KL and I thought it was uncontested. Then as soon as I lock it in, someone else locks in the same thing, and he hits. I don't know what else to do. Alright, you gotta roll here for like some two stars. Wait, I can't level. I actually need to hit two stars. Hello? Wait, hello? Hello? No kills? What the fuck? Wait, that, that was actually like some bullshit. I just rolled like 20 gold, no kill. Like, I'm level 4, by the way. Okay, I, I have to roll to zero here for Kales. I'm not gonna grab the kill in the orb. I'm gonna just try to hit Fjord too and kill. Okay. Now you can probably sit. I'm just gonna slam this Giant Slayer. Okay. Yeah, maybe I gotta think fast right here and I just win the game. Yeah, let's look on the bright side. Maybe you get think fast right here. <laughs> think fast, I just get Gangplank 3, kill 3, and then that's it. Reroll for think fast. Oh, golden ticket. Oh my god, wait. I mean, you, you take it, but like, I already rolled all my money down. <laughs> But like, I don't regret it. It was prismatic, so you reroll immediately so that you have time to think fast if you get it. I'm gonna roll for Fiora at least. I don't think I take this vein. What the f If only, dude, if these gangplanks were Kales, man. But yeah, like, I I don't remember what my options were. It was like level up, celestial blessing, and something else. I think they were like okay for Kale, but you're always rerolling for that chance to think fast. I, I did the math earlier. Like, I literally counted the number of prismatic augments. If you reroll that, you have like a, I want to say about a 1 in 10 chance of hitting think fast. 
Oh yeah, it was, there was also Windfall. Windfall might have been all right, but like we're always re-rolling there to try to get things fast. And then at the worst, you just pick like whatever Prismatic Augment. This Augment still has a lot of value to me. It's just, it could have had even more if I rolled one turn later, which is really sad. Okay, honestly, not the end of the world, okay? I wanna say like, if you hit Kale 3, GP 3, Fior 3, Yasuo 3, you actually do get first place here. So with that being said, I'm at five Kales now. It's like, isn't that looking like a little winnable? Yeah? Yeah, isn't that, isn't that like a little winnable, guys? Just, just a little bit? Maybe we can top four from this spot? I just, I, I just send it on wolves. Roll down 60 gold, level five. Why didn't you grab the veins? It's just too much money. Like, there's no way I can three-star vein here. I'm gonna three-star these four duelists and then, ah, uh, that's it. I won! I actually don't really want to win. Okay, uh, give me a locket. Rod, rod, rod. Locket on GP? Is Kale Augment one of the best in the game? I think if you hit it reliably, it is the strongest Augment in the game, yes. But like, you the reason why you lose with it is because you don't hit it. It is kind of like a casino, but it is very fun. It's very fun to watch your Kale pop off. If you hit Kale 3 in a reasonable amount of time and you can go like 8 and build around her, it's incredibly strong. All right, here we go. Gangplank. Zed, I, I'm gonna roll for GP. Nice. Everyone pays. Okay, I'm pretty sure there was a rocket grab guy. Yeah. Okay, nice. Oh, the reason why I'm starting to hit now is because the supers guy, the supers guys are like griefing each other. Uh, do I even want to hold the Zed? I'm most likely gonna end up selling it, but like, I'll sell the Alistar for now. Okay, I mean, it's, isn't it looking, Kind of good now, guys. I've got good items. I hit a three-star gangplank. I've got golden ticket. Like, it's winnable. It's looking good. It's looking good, guys. We're gonna we're gonna top four. Woo! Can I get some poggers in the chat? This game is so free. A two streak. Like, let's just pretend I didn't roll up forty gold for zero kills. Here's a Nyla, but I'm pretty sure you have to pass on it. Actually, I would rather hold Nyla than Set, just because. I could realistically two-star the Nyla, but I'm not... Like, you, you play Zed as a carry, but Kale's already the carry here. I'm just gonna play whatever six duels, so then the Nyla might be a good support. Okay, so remember, they actually buffed GP3, and they buffed Fiora3. So I, I can see both of these being pretty good as itemized carries. What is the best in slot here? I don't know, but I can tell you what it's not. It's not Hurricane, it's not Gwinsu's, because she's gonna have so much attack speed anyway. Maybe Gwinsu's if you're playing supers. I. Uh, it's probably Guardbreaker, because Guardbreaker in general pairs well with Hurricane. And the reason why it's not Hurricane is because she already has two built-in Hurricanes. She fires two extra bolts, so Guardbreaker I think is insanely high value on her. This is assuming you 3-star her, of course. But until you 3-star her, she just has RFC for free. Uh, I could see IE, Giant Slayer, Deathblade all being pretty good on her. I'm probably rolling it to zero here. I've got five kills. Would I ever try for three-star cow? I can't believe I'm actually winning. I'm like basically playing a prismatic augment down. My prismatic augment helped me get the three-star GP. That's it. All right, so I need to roll for every single duelist and then I'll start selling off the expensive ones. Is it is Gunblade ever the play? I could see it working. I don't have any healing right now. If I hit Gunblade. Wait, hello? I'm grabbing my orb so nothing's showing up. Oh, oh, Guardbreaker. What the? Behold the righteous flame! Yes! Yes! The game is saved! I did it! What a roll down! 
Now I gotta, now I gotta level and put in this Nyla. Oh my god, I got it just in time to keep my streak as well. Holy sh**. Alright, I win this, right? I win this, right? This guy has Soraka to at 7 with 40 gold. Oh man, I mean, it's just component grab bag. Oh, a locket. Wait, sick. Wait, I actually have like some insane items here. Behold, the GGP! That's Gangplank 3 with Titans. I know what you're thinking, Boxbox, aren't you f***ed now because you have zero gold, level six? Yes, I am f***ed, but at least I'm gonna win out here. What about the rocket grab? I just faced the rocket grab, so I can do this now. If only I got like Celestial Blessing or something. I had it as one of my Prismatic Augments, but we already talked about that. I already, I had to reroll it. You should have kept Bow for the spat. Shut the f*** up. I would much rather slam a good item right now than to greed for a potential spat that might not even spawn. Greeting best in slots like one of the biggest blunders you can do. It works out like 5% of the time, and then it doesn't work out like 95% of the time and you just lose the game. People remember like the one time they do that and it actually works, and then it makes them do it every single game and they lose a lot of LP overall. It's like when you win at a casino, like because you get really lucky, and then you're like, oh my god, I can just win I can just print money, and then you just like go lose your entire bank account. Nyla 3? I, mean, I feel like I might as well go for it. Could sell for Econ. I feel like the end game of this board involves hitting every three star, so I could see you holding it. I thought duels were nerfed. It was, but I'm still playing this augment. Okay, yeah. A lot of one and two costs are out of the pool. But yeah. My Kale's got some pretty insane items. The only thing she doesn't have is healing. Now I just look for items for Fiora 3. Actually, I'm pretty sure the best move, believe it or not, is another locket. <laughs> and then you item move the Titans, give it to Fiora. So I will take a chain vest here. Ooh, a spat! If I saved one of the bows from earlier, I could have had a dual spat right here. All right, grab the chain. This can turn into Edge of Night, Titans, or locket, and then move Titans to Fiora 3. The guy was right, Lamau. Shut the f up. <laughs> I, I'm going to repeat myself one more time. I'm not going to bank on the small chance of a spat being there. Yes, it was there, but I'm never going to greet it. Imagine if I didn't win streak because of that. I have one of the best items I could slam, a Titans on a GP3. Like, I'm just going to slam it, dude. I'm not going to greet three fights. Not only do you risk losing your streak, you also deal less damage to other players. Like, it is a thing to like push levels so you can deal more damage to players to force them to roll earlier. A lot of people don't really pay attention to it because it doesn't really affect your own board, but it's like, it's pretty substantial. You play a really strong like level seven board early game, you deal like 20 damage to everybody, and then they're all forced to roll down early. Or like roll before they hit their spikes, and it's really powerful. I wonder if I can beat this Jax. Oh, it's very close. Oh, it's not close at all. Sheesh! Why is Locket good on Nyla? Because she is she likes to be in the middle of big strong men. No, I'm not kidding. Like, uh, are you familiar with it? one of my uh, role models, Piper Pieri? What you want to do is find four big strong men and then surround Nyla. You give her Locket and you surround her with four big strong men. And it's just like, it creates art. I wonder if I win this. This guy is going for Yasuo 3. Match. Time to die. Would you ever remove the items and put them on Nyla 3? If I hit it, yeah. Wait, what the hell? He killed my Kale. Huh? The flaming ricochet, ricochet to my Kale. That went all the way to the corner. Like, I get that it bounces, but how did it bounce to Kale? I was right about to win that. My streak. It's actually like worth quite a lot of money. It probably was like 10 gold. Okay, I mean, you just roll it down now. Two Yasos, three Fioras, three Nylas. And then if you hit, you go seven, and then you play uh, six Duelists. That's probably the end of the game. 
Actually, I might go 7 sooner rather than later. Just because I really want that extra attack speed on my Kale. Oh, Sunfire? Let me roll first. Come on. No. Well, that was really fast. I'm gonna put this on Nyla, though. No, I'll put it on Fiora. I didn't have time to position to adjust for the hook guy correctly. I'll just do this. It's kind of bad. All right, now I'm pretty sure you go seven, and then you just like roll for Nyla three, Yasuo three, whenever you're ready. Come on, Fiora, hang in there, sweetheart. Cybernetic would have been pretty good here. I mean, the Kimono Grab bag gave me best in slot, so I'm down. Alright, I'm gonna just level. Actually, let me finish this roll down. There we go. And then level. And just do that. This is literally just for the extra attack speed. It's pretty significant. This is the end of the game. You just roll for Nyla 3, Yasuo 2, or Yasuo 3, and then not much else to do. Wait, the Lulu guy is winning? Interesting. What? Delivery. Delivery, what's up? Oh my god, Boba! You ordered this, right? Yeah, oh, Annie ordered it. Uh, Give it to Annie. Table. Thank you. Alright, it's time for the Lulu guy to die. This guy is playing Growth Spurt Lulu. Time to get outscaled. Oh, wait, it's Axiomarth Growth Spurt Lulu. My god. Wait, that's actually like Giga Chad. Thank god I have really long range. Oh god, she's coming! Dude. I've never seen anything scarier than a Featherweight's 3 growth spurted Lulu dashing at you. <laughs> That's terrifying. Alright, I summon a Yasuo. A Yasuo. Madge. Wait, what? I thought I just faced this guy! Oh, oh my god, he doesn't have Blitzcrank. Oh, thank god. Oh. I, I thought I faced him last round by mistake. So I position into the corner. Oh my god, this kill is so hot. He probably dropped this augment because he felt like people were starting to pay attention to it. Thank god. Alrighty. Let's grab a... Uh, I don't even know. Shroud. Oh, I know what to grab here. The Yawk. Ah! Yeah, that's just rude. Hello, Tiny Scared Pickle. It might have been Giant Slayer Fiora, but I feel like Kale is doing all the damage. Let's do Edge of Night Fiora. It's all good. Oh. Alright, Yawk. Come on. Come on, I'll even thin up my pool. Come on, Yasuo! Yasuo, channeling! Channeling a Yasuo! Madge! Oh, bro, my bench! My bench! Okay, now surely I just hit everything and I get first place. Pog, how's your Pog? Oh, my kill just got stun locked forever. No, no, I call this one the Fior Dip. They just buffed Fior 3. She's actually pretty good now, I'm not even kidding. You just like randomly itemize the Fior 3, she actually like pops off. She makes Papa proud for sure. Can I get a Y at an N? Oh! No more running. All right, let's do this. It's first place time. Show me what you got. Fiddlestick should go to the left here. 6% chance of winning. 
Nah, I think it's a 100% chance of winning. You will never beat Pure 3. Wait. Wait a second. Oh! My God! Okay. It's time for Nyla. <laughs> Nyla, sweetie! Need you to come home. I have a remover. I've got the luckets for you. Your favorite. <laughs> Imagine a Nyla right here from a white orb. All right. It's probably Val. Just need a tank item. All right, I'll, I'll even thin the pool. Oh. Jubilation. Sorry, Gangplank. Yoink. Sorry, buddy. This is the end of the game. Val on Nyla is bad. I don't see any reason why I'd ever be bad here. I mean, it's not a great item, but I will take it. Oh yeah, it's probably Titans on Nyla actually, just for the stats. Give the tankiness to someone else. All right, this guy kicked my ass last time, but I'm stronger now. Oh, is that should be on the right side, actually. Okay, this guy's got like three star everything, but so do I. Come on, Kale, make me proud. Oh, my Zed went in there and made Kaiser recoil. Damn, I can't beat him. Really? He's too powerful. Oh god, and he got stronger. Wait! I really can't beat this guy, huh? I mean, these are useless. Just play for a second place. Maybe kill this guy? Surely I can get at least a second, right? I have to beat this guy real good, and then win the second- win the ghost matchup. All right, Fiora and Kale, same side. Oh, he put in a Velkaz. Oh no, that Velkaz fucks me up. Wait, Oxforce, Oxforce! Oh, come on, come on, come on! Oh. I, oh, I, I'm last pick, I need the TG. No, my TG. Okay. Can you do anything, Yasuo? If I somehow win this next fight, I can go next level. Oh no, I think I'm just dead. Unless I get a miracle here. Oh, wait, it's his ghost. Maybe I can get second. If I kill more units, I can get second. It's doable. This guy is so strong, he probably kills both of us, but I just have to live by, I just have one more HP. Come on, Kale, kill a few more. Okay, we killed a lot, we killed a lot. Any chance this guy, yes! Somehow that game got saved. I don't even know how, that game was so on stage 3-1, this game was like, doomed. Completely doomed, and we somehow got it. Wait, actually, what a comeback. That is a pog what a comeback, or PWAP for short. Would have definitely been a first if you hit killer. If I hit in the reasonable amount of time, yes, I would have gotten first. Because I would have gotten eight, thrown in Aegis, or more frontline, and like, I would have been fine. Like, it's kind of close, right? I'm killing his tanks, and then at that point, it's just like, Kale versus Kai'Sa, but they're barely killing my units first.
So they get an advantage. All right, I'm down. Considering I was contested and I was unlucky with the roll down, that was a very good result. Ah! 